Next up, we've got Impact on Life with Mr. Greg Adele, someone who is always able, Nick, to somehow find a little component in life to talk about, don't you think? Absolutely. Greg does a great job, so let's go to uh, Impact on Life with Greg Adela. Let's watch. Welcome back to another segment of Impact on Life. I'm your host, Greg Adela. Joining me today is the editor, publisher, owner of her Life Magazine, Angela Bedell. Hello, Angela. Hey. How are you? Good, Greg. How are you? Thanks so much for coming in and joining me Thanks on this for segment. Having Absolutely, you're welcome. It's, it's pretty, you look lovely today. By the Thank way. you. Love all your accessories. It's fantastic. <laughs> and so apropos, because it, it matches the blend of your magazine. And what I like about your magazine is, um, well, it's about her life, and I need to know as much as I can about the women <laughs> as possible. So it as gives most men do. As most men do, and it, and it gives me some hints. Uh, about into the uh, the world of women, mm -hmm. and and especially what I like about this, and I'll let you explain more. Is you have local ties, mm -hmm. okay? So I know you went to Skidmore College, correct? Yes. So people know that up in Saratoga, mm -hmm. and that's where your company, that's where the, the the magazine is based out of as well. Yep. But explain a little bit about because I read about how I know you got started with it, and you were reading an issue out of mm -hmm. Kansas City. Mm -hmm. How did it come about to where you brought it into? upstate New York. Well, you know, I am very passionate about magazines. I love a great magazine and um, I love to touch it and I love to feel it mm -hmm. and I love glossies. And uh, a couple years ago, I, you know, left my corporate life and decided to do some other things more creatively. And um, I saw Her Life magazine out in Kansas City and I like the premise of it that it was keeping women connected. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a lot of great magazines in the capital region. Um, they're all wonderful, but I didn't see one that was really focused on the conversation that goes on inside women's heads, which is, I want to know how to save, I want to know what to do with my kids, I want to know how to get my eyebrows done, and you know, can I go back to school? And so that ADD that goes on inside my mm -hmm. head, I wanted to kind of bring that same conversation to the capital region, and women have responded tremendously to a it. Absolutely, and I'll agree, because you do. It's a very eclectic, here are some past issues. I mean, we have our friend mm -hmm. Benita Zahn, yes. she was on the cover of the first one. Um, Yolanda Vega, mm -hmm. you have a, a nice fashion issue that also infused w w ovarian with, with cancer. ovarian cancer mm -hmm. awareness. You have a whole breast cancer, and then all of a sudden, then then pops up. You've got you know powerful women of the capital district that are entrepreneurs and and really getting things done. Uh, tremendously. Absolutely. It, and you know what is great about this is that I've met so many wonderful women along the way. I've met women with breast cancer, ovarian cancer, the only female paid fire chief in New York State we featured on our cover. Um, Yolanda and Benita are just magnificent. And then, you know, to Mar Ginsburg, who did our breast cancer cover, we mm -hmm. shot it in black and white because the only color that mattered that month was pink. And so we did our, our Her Life in Pink, and Mar started a two life organization. So I think the the biggest blessing for me, which I didn't even realize when I brought this magazine here, was that I would meet so many incredible people, and I really have and learned a lot along the way. Oh, sure, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Because they are interesting reads. Uh, and, you know, w w along with this, is you, you also have a publishing company as yeah. well. Well, this is a part of the publishing company. We look at other things that we might be doing under that. Um, her life in the capital region. And, and one thing about this is that even though we're based in Saratoga, I am very, I'm from Schenectady originally. Um, and, you know, I love Lake Placid. So I like that corridor, that I-87 corridor. Sure. So we distribute the magazine all the way from Lake Placid down into Hudson, out into the Berkshires. So a lot of women get to read this. We draw a big circle as to where we distribute it. Yeah, because correct me if I'm mm -hmm. wrong, if, if I did my homework correctly, you mm -hmm. have about 1,500 distribution places yes. and, and a circulation mm -hmm. of about 45 thousand people over. yeah we have actually we have about 45,000 reads because we put the magazine not only you can get it at most price chopper in Hannaford's mm -hmm. but we put it where women wait and have to wait and where they gather so beauty salons doctors offices spas you know and we get more reads on the magazine that way because you know people will read it and not take it and then oftentimes they do you know when we go to read deliver every month we have very few that ever come back I mean if we have three that's a lot so they're out there and people are enjoying them for their coffee tables and we we try to make them look good too. So absolutely, they, mm -hmm. they they do look good, and 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 they are full of helpful content. Yeah. And, and exploring, you know, the, the psyche of the women, locally, mm -hmm. and and you actually, you touch on. 
real issues that affect people globally. Yeah. And what's also uh, I like about this magazine is you can find it online. Right, exactly. Her, her life, it's Her Life New York. Her Life New York and spell out New York yes. com, and you can read it online if you want. If you you know if you can't get to the glossy, um, but the thing is, is that we try to inspire. You know, I'm not. Uh, trying to do some hard-nosed journalism right. that's trying to take somebody out. I know, I read um, it. You know, we really want to... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> we, really, we really just try to... We want to build people up. Right. And we want to build the women up in the capital region. And it's great because um, a lot of um, people are inspired by their stories. I actually had a man come into my office. Mm -hmm. And he carried. He was carrying the um, one where we had Jess Hudak on the cover from August. And she was on Bravo's Platinum Hits. And he was carrying that magazine, and he wanted to meet me, and I was like, oh, boy, you know, what did we do wrong? You know, he wants and uh, he said, I love this magazine. It's so inspirational. I'm taking this home to read it again. And I was like, thanks. And we do have a lot of guys that read the magazine as well. Well, I'm one of them. Yeah. What is your, what are you looking to do with Her Life magazine come 2012? Where do you want to take the direction, you know, to the next mm -hmm. level of exposure and, and interviews and really, really educating mm -hmm. the public? Well, I think one of the things that we want to do, you know, we've, um, there's so many different um, pockets of women and women-based organizations that are doing great things for women in the capital Adirondack region. Mm -hmm. um, and I've learned a lot about those organizations. And during this uh, first 10 months of the magazine, and December's our 10th issue, so we're really happy about that's that. fantastic. I know, yeah, thank yeah. you. Some people said we wouldn't be around for three, so we're still standing. That's right, that's um, great. But, you know, I would like to really get more involved in some of those organizations. I went to a Women Against the Multiple Sclerosis, and I'd like to get more involved in that. And we have, you know, heart health is very important for women. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the cancers that come along. Sure. Um, but there's a lot of other things that are, are very good for our young girls. And I'd like to really explore those more as well. You know, got great organizations out there, Girl Scouts, mm -hmm. um, Girls Inc., you know, and a lot of things that are mentoring young women. And that's what, you know, her life should be something that, you know, a woman of any age can pick up and really get something from. So I like to see that happen. And we're also looking at other places to put Her Life magazine, um, you know, in possible other parts of the Northeast as well. Yeah, I think it's great yeah. because on that note, you have the, the Capital District. It goes up north. Mm -hmm. How far south does does it reach like the Hudson right, area? Right into Hudson. Right we into go Hudson, to, you know, okay. we, we hit the Warren Street area. And Fantastic. we featured some great, we, we featured a restaurant, Hudson Mexican Radio. We oh, featured, sure. We shot some fashion from De Machen, which is a great boutique on Warren Street. So, you know, oh, that's a there. great, yeah, it's a great yeah, little it's very, very nice. real neighborhood. So we try, you know, we want to um, make sure that we get that penetration, but um, the the majority of the magazines are in the capital Adirondack region in Lake Placid, which is great. And I, I we love our folks up in Lake Placid. They've been wonderful, and it's a great town up there, too. Absolutely, it yeah. is. That's great. Yeah. Well, listen, I appreciate you coming in and, you. and spending some time with us and, mm -hmm. and adding your wisdom. And, and, and really, thank you. I guess I'll, I'll thank everyone in the Capital District on behalf of the Capital District for, for putting out a magazine that, and, you know, that really is useful. Um, and it's worth picking up and reading and going through, and it hasn't been done before in a capital district. So I wish you continued yeah. success with that. Thank you so much for having me. I You're appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. Angela Boudreau, Her Thanks. Life Magazine, and you can find that at www.herlifenewyork.com. Make sure you spell out New York. So if, again, for Impact on Life, I'm your host, Greg Adela, and we'll see you next time. And we're back. And we're ready to go. Unfortunately, it's the end of another show. Oh, I'm a poet who didn't know it. Another week of impact. It was great. Uh, let us know what you think by emailing us. At impact at proctors.org. That's it. We want to know. So we'll see you next week for Impact. This is Nick Barber. And I'm Heidi Phillipson. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Take care.